I was doing a cleanup project for Best You Best Me on a cold day during a snowstorm. As I was finishing, a cable company truck drove by and got stuck in the snow shortly after. That's when I met Dwayne. He was on a service call to repair a client's internet connection. Despite the situation, he was still in good spirits and determined to get to work. So I offered a helping hand. You want some help, bro? Um, I got a rope, I can pull you up. Do you? Yeah. I appreciate it. I could pull you all the way till the end, it's not that far. We just gotta do it carefully and slowly. Who would have thought? The guy is stuck and I'm just the person to help him out. I have a rope. Dwayne, you ready, brother? Yes, sir. Let's keep going. You gonna stick around and do the job? Yeah, I might as well. All right. Yeah, it's like a minute away. It's down here. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna take you over there. I just wanted to tell you that it was great to meet you. Oh yeah, definitely. And I appreciate everything you did, man. Thank you, brother. And, and I appreciate all the hard work that you're putting in here. I used to install cable at one time when I was your age, way back. So I know how hard it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to thank you. And I wanted to thank you by giving you a check for $250 just to say thank you. Serious? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, brother. That's for you. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it, brother. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. It's not a big thing, you deserve it. I mean, it's, I a, it's a lot though, you know, like it is a big thing. That's <laughs> crazy, man. It's probably the nicest thing that somebody's ever done, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just helping me alone? That was it, like, you know, like that was... And on a day like today, he's out there cleaning the road. That's what he's out there doing. He told me. Yeah. Like, and I told him, I said, you know, we need more people like you in this world, man. You know, like, it's, it's, it's touching, man. It's, it really is. The pleasure is all, all mine, and I feel blessed to be able to do something for you, man. No, I, I appreciate it, man. I God definitely bless appreciate you, it. I'm going to keep in touch with you, too, man. You got my number. number. Yep. We had been uh, experiencing some internet access issues. Comcast decided to uh, dispatch uh, a tech out to check the outside plant uh, here in our neighborhood. So they actually dispatched a technician from uh, Richmond. They had given me a call and said that he was running a little bit late uh, and he would be there shortly. The first thing that I see is a Mercedes GL with a rope pulling a Comcast van coming up, pulling up in front of my house. So, uh, wasn't hard to figure out that, that he had gotten stuck and that this gentleman had helped him out and he was here now. He came up and, and uh, introduced himself. The text name was Dwayne. Uh, he said he was here to fix my problem. A little while later, um, there was a knock at the door and I went there and, and Richard was, was standing at the door and I, he said to me, he said, hey, listen, do you have a quick second that uh, I could speak to Dwayne? I've, I've got something for him. I think the video pretty much sums it up. You have an organization here that um, cares about other people um, and just goes through life looking for singular acts of kindness to do for, for others. And I think that that's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you know, I had to dry my eyes as I've seen the check being handed over to Dwayne and seeing the expression on Dwayne's face. Um, not only the surprise, but the appreciation. I think the appreciation that I saw in his face wasn't so much for the money as much as it was that there are folks out there that are good like this.